Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome. We will continue blocking and confounding into the power k factorial design. And in last class, what we have seen that I, I have discussed what is uh, blocking into the power k design. And then we also discussed what is confounding into the power k design. And we also discussed defining contrast, defining contrast which will help in assigning uh, different experimental combinations or treatment combinations to different blocks. Okay. So, what we have seen basically we in the first case you have seen that how the blocks are used as replicates and when, uh, when every block is able to accommodate all the treatment combination. In case of confounding, you have seen uh, you have seen that even every block is not able to accommodate all the treatment combinations. So you you found that there are some of the effects parameters which are confounded with the blocks, and usual guideline is that it should be the higher higher order interaction that should be confounded. And then we have we have used defining contrast where I said that different contrast is alpha one x one plus alpha two x two. So, like this your alpha k x k if there are k number of uh, factors and x i basically can take values 0 or 1 and uh, depending on the from the uh, contrast dn matrix you will find whether this effect is at low level or high level and alpha i will become 0 or 1 again if it is if it is present if that particular ith, ith factor is present in the defining in the effect to be confounded and or absent in the effect to be confounded depending on that 1 or 0 value will be assigned to them. So, and then uh, with a in, in a 2 to the power 3 design case 2 to the power 3 design case I have shown you that uh, how you will you, you require 8 runs 8 runs suppose you have insufficient uh, materials you can go for to the only to the power 2 runs per block. So, that means 4 runs per block then what are the treatment combination starting from 1 then A then B then A B then C then A C then B C then A B C. So, these are the 8 treatment combinations which are the treatment combination will go to block 1 and which are the treatment combination will go to block 2. So, using this concept like L equal to um, if effect to be confounded is a b a b c to be confounded with block confounded with block with block then we have seen that 1 a b a c b c will go to block 1 and a b c and a b c will go to block 2. How you have used this you have written first first you find out the value of L and that, that you write in terms of L mod 2 or I can say A mod 2 no problem if L is uh, just to avoid this. For example, we have seen in order to if A B C is confounded alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 equal to alpha 3 equal to 1 and in that k and if I am interested to find out the what will be which block it should the treatment 1 uh, combination 1 will be uh, run uh, that will be written like this. So, uh, alpha 1 x 1 plus alpha 2 x 2 plus alpha 3 x 3 where alpha 1 and in in one treatment combination all will be at low level plus 1 0 plus 1 1 0 then this will give you 0 value. So, this value is 0. Now, its equivalent write up will 
will be 0 mod 2. So, suppose if we want that what will be the block for, so that means uh, what is the block for A, then in that case it will be 1 into 1 plus 1 into 0 plus 1 into 0 which is 1 and this can be written that 1 mod 2. So, these two that mean when you just see that whether it is going to 0 or going to 1. So, all those treatment combination where this value is 0 will be put with block 1 and combination with 1 will be put with uh, block 2 and in this way you are basically defining, uh, defining the treatment combination for two different blocks. Okay. So, that is what we have discussed so far. And geometrically, you see that uh, that one, then your uh, this one is AC, and this one is AB, and this one is BC. These are all with block one. So run in block one, and others run with block two. Okay, this is the first one. So another concept is that the same thing that how which treatment combination will go to which blocks that can be done using the principal uh, block concept. So, the block containing the treatment combination is one is called principal block. The treatment combination in this block have a useful group theoretic property namely they form a group with respect to multiplication modulus 2 this implies that any element except within bracket 1 in the principal block may be generated by multiplying two other elements in the principal block on modulus 2. Okay. So, what we mean to say this is our first block because this is the principal block it contains 1. Now, if you multiply the other uh, other the treatment combinations here, then ultimately you will be getting another treatment combination in the same block. Like if you multiplied A B with A C, you will be getting B C. If you multiply with A B with B C, you will be getting A C. If you multiplied A C with B C, you will be getting A B. Okay. And you will get the you will get you will what you what, what you mean to say that as you have 1 a b a c b c these are assigned to the first block now if you multiply it with any other treatment combinations which are not in this block so what will happen you will get the treatment combination in the other blocks how it is suppose in the first principal block 1 then we say a b then A C and B C. So, the other, other um, treatment combination for example, B if you multiply it with B everywhere, what you are getting here? You will be getting here B, A B square it will give you A, A B C will give you A B C, B square C will give you C. So, see that A, B, C, A, B, C which are the treatments that are not assigned to principal block. So, they will go to the another block. So, that sense even if you multiply this with this with suppose A, you will also get the same thing. Okay. So, this is the concept and another simple one the first one what I explained but if you see here, you see that we say that effect to be confounded with block. So, you when you create this algebraic matrix, you will also get the contrast for A, B, C and here you obviously in all the columns you will say you will get plus or minus sign only. So, now here the minus will be assigned to block 1 and plus will be assigned to block 2. So, all there will be only minus plus and equal number of minus and equal number of plus. So, minus 
treatment combinations will go to block 1 and plus treatment combination will go to block 2 obviously with respect to the effect to be confounded. If your effect to be confounded is a b then the assignment of block will be different. So, that means this plus 1 the first one will go to block 2, second third will go to block 1 then again block 2 then blo another to block 1 and block 2. Now, if you say that the, the block which contains the um, treatment combination 1 within bracket 1 is a principal block, uh, then our principal blo block will, will be here. If a b is confounded, a b is confounded, then this is means 1, then a b, then c and then a b c. Okay. So, <coughs> essentially what I mean to say here, I mean to say here instead of A B C, if your effect to be confounded with block is A B and then the principal block will be will contain 1, then your A B principal block will contain 1, then A B, then C and then A B C. So, what will be the another block? This is your block 1, let it be block 1 goes to this. Another block you multiply with A, then this will be A, this will be B, this will be A C, then this will be B C. You see this will go to block 2. So, that means effect to be confounded is very very important and accordingly the assignment of the treatment combination to the block. So, if A B to be confounded this is the case, if A B C to be confounded then you have already seen that A B A B C to be confounded then you have seen that this is 1 A B A C and B C that is block 1 and another one will be other one A B uh, C and A B C this is your block 2. So, with this background let us see one example and and let us um, estimate the effects as well as you see that whether which of the effects are significant which of the effects are not significant develop an over table like this. So, we have four factors A, B, C, D. They are temperature, pressure, concentration of formaldehyde and steering rate. And each with two labels. So, you know that there will be to the power 4 means 16 treatment combinations and you, you can you can develop this algebraic matrix A, B, C, D and that plus minus combinations all those things are known to you. What happen? You take the first column minus plus minus plus minus plus, second column minus minus plus 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 plus, then third column that is 2 to the power j minus 1, 3 minus 1, 2, 4 minus 4 plus 4 minus 4 plus like this. And you also know that how the, the run label will be defined with reference to that A, B, C, this kind of this alphabets. And suppose and these are the, these are the run label and suppose you, you have done once because you have the restriction with the source restrictions and all those things. So, one, one runs, uh, other I can one replications. But another restriction is that you cannot do it with one block, you have, you have to do it with two blocks. The reason is you cannot go for 16 runs, experimental runs in one block. So, here block is the resource. So, you require let two blocks to be used. So, that means under each block there will be 8. Uh, diff 8 runs. So, 8 different treatment combinations will be allotted to block 1, another 8 treatment combinations will be allotted to block 2. Okay. And this is what is 
yeah, this is uh, this is the geometric uh, representation of this to the power four design, and this is what is our uh, this and 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 suppose what will happen, uh, there will be two cases. So uh, one case will be one case will be when you have um, you are going for block only one block. Another case will be going for two blocks. So the although the this example uh, is for two blocks, but we have seen this earlier with only uh, in case of single replicate with one homogeneous set, and that time the filtration rate, which is the response variable, what are the data obtained with reference to different experimental or treatment combinations are like this. These are the values. Now, as we have uh, the restriction with blocks also, so we are using two blocks and then in that case we are assuming one more important fun, uh, concept that we are saying that if you run in block 1 using block 1 or using that batch of raw material or run with block 2, there will be a difference. What is the difference? Here we said that that uh, that in addition suppose you want to introduce block effect so the utility blocking can be demonstrated in that case when the two blocks of raw materials required to run the experiment one of them is much poorer quality and as a result all responses will be 20 units lower in this material batch than the other so i am repeating this case first one you see this data points so we have two to the power four design so we have one a b a b c a c b c then your a b c so like this ultimately you will go to a b c d so 16 runs suppose you are you have sufficient uh, raw material in uh, in such a manner that every batch will be able to accommodate this 16 runs but you you don't you can you don't have more than that so one batch here one batch is used and your response variable is measured response variable is measured this measurement like this first one is 45 is the response, second one is 71. So, like this 96 is the last one, this is the response. Okay. Suppose you want to conduct the same experiment another time let it be, but when your raw material is the batch is not sufficient enough to accommodate all the 16 runs, you require to do with two batches of raw materials because only 8 treatment combination can be accommodated per batch B A T C H. So, as a result the blocking concept is coming into picture. So, that means each block uh, batch here represent one block. So, we use two block block 1 and block 2. So, that means two batches of raw material. So, here you will be having 1 to like 8 runs, here also you will be having 1 to 8 runs. Then you will be having the response values y, here also you will be having the response values y. Suppose you further assume that, further assume that, that the, the original batch is also available and it is assigned to block 2, it is called block 2. And block 1 is a much poorer one which is basically uh, taken from maybe some other supplier and then what happened it, it has effect because it will reduce the response values. So, what is the reduction? Reduction let it be the 20 units reduction because of poor quality. So, as a result what happened? So, what happened? The response will change you see here in the block 1 treatment combination 1 it is 25, but earlier example it was 45. So, 45 minus 25 20 that is for 25. So, this block is poorer than block 2 
and that block effect is 20 units that is that that means if you use block 1 that means batches of raw material representing block 1 your response will be 20 units less and that is what is the block effect when force purposefully we have said first the block effect is 20. And suppose these are the data. Now, your question is first question is that how do we assign the 16 runs to block 1 and block 2, 8 per block? So, that concept is, uh, we have already discussed. We said that you go by defining contrast or you first find out which effect to be to be confounded and then that effect find out the contrast for that effect plus and minus sign and then what you do then all uh, block 1 will go to plus minus sign and block 2 go to plus sign and that since okay or using defining contrast you find out so you using that you 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 find out that this 1 a b a c b c a d b d c d a b c d all will go to block 1 and others will go to block 2. Block 2 means the original batch of raw material which is of superior quality than block 1. Okay. So, what will effect happen to the estimates? You see the regression coefficient here. So, we have A, B, C, D, all those A, B, C, D, all the everything that affects and the uh, regression coefficients you have seen and you see that uh, uh, earlier example that example we have uh, I think we have actually explained in some previous lectures where these two blocks we have not used, but with single replicate we explained and there all you see that all the effect effect values they are same hmm. and they are some squares. <coughs> But <coughs> the difference is that this block A, B, C, D and block are confounded here. Please see this red arrow here, it is confounded. Now, in previously you found out the A, B, C, D effect is 1.375. Here, as A, B, C, D and block both are confounded, the effect estimate is basically, basically what happened, uh, it is minus 18.625. This is the effect. So, what is this? What is the why it is happening? Because block and ABCD that interaction they are confounded each other, they are inseparable. But in this example, that the uh, design is made in such a manner that the block effect beforehand we assume that it is 20. So, now then what is the ABCD effect? If the last row here it is talking about both the both the effects together and as we already know the block effect is minus 20 then block effect plus effect of ABCD is this. So, block effect that is minus 20 plus ABCD this confounded and this is 18.625. So, then what is ABCD effect? is 20 minus 18.625 which is 1.375 this is what you have see you have, we have obtained in uh, in earlier e example using this data set single replicate case so with single replication we have seen that the error cannot be estimated because we we don't have any observation left no degree of freedom for error. Here what happened in plus we have we have included one more thing that is what we are saying that the two blocks are used. So, one of the again one of the higher order interaction here the highest order interaction A B C D is confounded with the block here. So, ultimately uh, one more restriction 
is imposed and error is not estimated here. So, then what you will do? You will, you will basically follow the same way we have done earlier that you find out the relative contribution in terms of percent contribution and then negligible contributors can be neglect, neglected. Then develop a probability probability plot for the effects and find out the effect which are go which are far away from the uh, straight line and those effects will be considered as significant and then other effects which are basically lying on the straight line in the pp plot probability probability plot all those will be ma will be neglected and their effect will be considered as error effect uh, as error measure and then that additional anova uh, that if test all will be done okay so, for that what you require to know also, you require to know in this case what is the block effect. So, it is similar, it is the same thing, you just find out the block total. So, you have two blocks 1 and 2, find out the average for block 1 and average for block 2 and then the effect of the block will be the, the difference between the effect. So, y bar block 1 minus y bar block 2 which is minus 18.625 which you have seen here how we have computed the block effect. Okay. <coughs> now, again SS block you can find out that there are two totals for block 1 and block 2. So, those will be will be square and 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 obviously, that will be uh, their average will be computed and then finally, it will be the corrections will be uh, corrected factors value will be subtracted and you will be getting this value and this is the this value. Okay. So, that mean for all A, B, C, D everything you using contrast, you find out the effects for block, use this, find out the block effect, block effect is confounded with A, B, C, D effect, also find out SS block using this formula. Formula is sum of B i by V i square by, by the uh, some multiple of n minus y dot 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 dot, dot uh, square divided by the sum of all. Uh, means divided by all the observations. These are the concepts already we have discussed. So, you see the relative contributions of A, B, C, D everything the percentage contributions is written here and 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 these are the effect values. So, when you construct people probability probability plot of the effects value you will be getting something like this and here you see that most of the effects uh, values are lying on a straight line and there are few like A, C, D, A, D and A, C they are away from the straight line. So, that means they are different, they are not, they are significantly contributing and as a result, as a result you see A, C, D, A, C, A, D plus block is already there and then error will be rest of the uh, that effects which are not significant, they are total sum square, sum square is taken and this is the error sum square. Now, you are in a position uh, not only you know the effect of block confounded with A B C D, but also you are in a position to know what is the error sum square and the resulting uh, degrees of freedom for error and you will be you are in a position to do a test for uh, to see that whether these effects are significant or not. And you are doing this you see uh, you are getting f values very high f values and all these values are all these effects are significant. Now, you can say that in this particular exam case A C D A C and A D they are significant uh, parameters and if you want to do su subsequent analysis those things to be taken into consideration. So, now we want to see that suppose two blocks are not sufficient means what I mean to say you want to do suppose uh, 32 suppose you have 2 to the power 5 design let it be like this. So, you require 1 to like this 32 experimental runs. So, if you want to use two, two blocks case so then each block will contain 2 to the power 5 minus 1 that means 2 to the power 4 runs. Suppose this is not possible, you have to use something like this to the power 5 minus 2. That means what I mean to say, say that means 1 fourth of 32, so 8 runs. So, 8 
so 2 to the power 5 minus 2 8 run means each block each block can accommodate only 8 runs not 16 runs so if one batch of raw material can accommodate 32 runs you don't require two blocks if one batch of raw material in this case or one uh, type of resource can accommodate here in with difference to the 16 runs then you require two blocks but if that will not happen then what happened the next is that why say that 2 to the power p blocks case so you have to go to 2 to the power 1 2 blocks 2 to the power 2 then 4 blocks so 4 blocks case you have to go so 4 blocks means each block will will accommodate 8 runs so this is this is that's why this is known as to here we are saying that 2 to the power 2 mean 2 to the power k minus 2 this is what is the observations obje observations per block when there are k blocks and you want them in uh, sorry when there are k factors and you want to use four blocks because your situation is such that only four blo that four blocks can accommodate this at least four blocks can accommodate so in that case each block will contain to the power k minus 2 observation ok so see the in such cases what happened when we are uh, when we are using two blocks that time we are saying to the power k minus 1 that means 1 by 2 into to the power k when we are using two four blocks we are saying 1 by 4 into to the power k so like this so, so here 2 is very important here 1 is very important in this case in this case what happened when you are using two blocks that one a higher order interaction is confounded one higher order interaction is confounded but here what happened two higher order interaction will be confounded so every confounding case will give you one defining relations defining contrast par effect to be confounded So, when there are two higher order interaction confounded, so you will have two different, two different, differing, defining contra contrast. So, here if we say it is L, here it will be L1 and L2. So, L1 with one, one fact, uh, one effect. L2 with another effect ok. Now see for example consider to the power 5 design with 8 runs in each block and 2 effects. What are the 2 effects A, D, E and B, C, E are confounded with blocks which have 2 defining contrast L1 and L2. Obviously, A C D means suppose if I say A is x 1, D is x 4, E is x 5, then L 1 is x 1 plus x 4 plus x 5. So, in this lecture first I will show you how the 4 blocks case will be constructed ok. So, let me read out it is possible to construct 2 to the power k factorial designs confounded in 4 blocks of 2 to the power k minus 2 observations each. These designs are particularly useful in situations where the number of factors is moderately large and block sizes are relatively small. Situation is you have more number of factors but your resource is less in amount like raw materials per batch 
can accommodate less number of runs or less number of experimental runs can be completed. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.